you know, we do a very good job of predicting when avalanches might reach the road and not allowing them to be big enough to reach the road, but nothing with nature is ever perfect. The Trans-Canada Highway is one of the most important arteries throughout Canada transporting goods across the country. Sections within the Rocky Mountains are prone to avalanches. Parks Canada, along with the Department of National Defence, are responsible for keeping our mountain passes on highways safe from avalanches. We're in a partnership now for 61 years. The Canadian military helps us a lot. Uh, really, there's no other avalanche control system that's anything like it. In Glacier National Park, where approximately 3,000 motorists pass through daily during the winter, Parks Canada operates the largest mobile avalanche control program in the world. 15 meters of snow falls each winter and 135 avalanche paths intersect the highway corridor. There's static defenses that are built all along the highway in its design stage. Static structures like snow sheds or stopper dams or mounds that help deflect or uh, lessen the impact of avalanches towards the road. We also use active avalanche control, which is the application of explosives through Rogers Pass, we have both the road and the railroad to worry about. When the hazard rises and the snow becomes unstable, we'll close the road and the railroad down and shoot uh, the howitzer. <laughs> or drop charges from a helicopter. Firing guns into known trigger zones way up in the avalanche paths. The shock waves fired by the artillery will trigger avalanches when snow conditions are just right. They use RAC, which stands for Remote Avalanche Control System. That can trigger an avalanche from a tower at the top of a mountain, right from a tablet or computer on the ground. There is still some risk of avalanche coming to the road. There's signs on the side of the road saying, no stopping area, avalanche zone. If you're traveling through, please respect those signs.